originally we cut chloroplast, translucent chloroplast, and just pop them in uh, to the skylights. It creates a lovely diffuse light and it cuts some of the heat coming in. But as it gets hotter and hotter, we're finding it doesn't cut quite enough heat. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap mylar space blankets around the chloroplast and then pop them back in. Which means that we have to pull them out, wrap them, and put them back up. Once we've put them back up, it's nowhere near as elegant as just the chloroplast, but we still get a little bit of light coming through the reflective mylar. But most of the light is reflected back out to space. It's not converted into heat. So we've just taken out the chloroplast, and this gives you an idea of this is a, a flat skylight and it has a, a framing here where we're popping the chloroplast in and out. I'm using this, this large um, drywall spatula just so that I don't destroy the wall finishing and what I'm doing is I'm pulling the chloroplast down in the middle, bowing it, not folding it, and then sliding it down over this device and it comes out very easily, goes in as easily, and now we're going to wrap the chloroplast with the mylar silver side out and then we'll put it back up in and that should reduce our net heating substantially. For the wrapping I used space blankets that I already had that I usually use for hiking um, I just cut them to size with a little bit of overlap on the sides so you can actually tape them around the edges and that also helps to cut the sharp uh, edges of the chloroplast after you have cut it. So to stick them to the um, chloroplast I just use sticky tape and make sure that it's as tight as possible and the tighter it is the um, smoother the space blanket becomes and the more reflection it provides. We actually tried to iron it with the iron but I don't think that works. It didn't work for us so I don't think it's worthwhile. So we just use the blanket as it is. Um, the coroplast you can buy at uh, building supply stores. It's not too expensive. It comes in a 4x8 sheets. It comes in uh, two different opacities. Uh, this one is actually the opaque one that we're using and then there is a more transparent one. It doesn't really matter which one you use for, for this project. And the space blankets are quite inexpensive. You can buy those on Amazon, uh, probably in any kind of hardware store or sports store as well. After we had put in the finished panels into the skylights, I noticed a big difference right away. While the chloroplast by itself provides uh, a bit of insulation and it reflects the light a little bit, um, with the uh, space blanket on, that reflection rose to almost 100% and there was no more uh, radiant heat generated, with, which made it feel like stepping from the sunshine into the shade. We have the chloroplast, and it looks a little pink. It's a translucent chloroplast that we were showing you before. It's pink because the uh, mylar is gold on one side and silver on the other. We're going to put this silver side up towards the top, and we're putting it so that the ribs run the length of the skylight. That way it will bend a little bit more easily to put it into the skylight. So. Again, the silver side goes up, we put it into the middle of the window because that's why we did the half, and we flex it just a bit and let it notch into the window space like that. Then we can pull it all the way to the back, and then it's supported on the window at the back, like that. And then it's up against the top. And now we need the next piece in, and that will cover the rest of the window. We hook it up in the gutter as high as it will go, without going up to the very end. And we're overlapping the two pieces, and then I'm using this drywall spatula and gently bending the chloroplast to pull it up into place in the window gutter, and then I can extract the chloroplast. Now, because they're overlapping, I can slide the chloroplast up to the end, then the ends are being supported as well. So it's sitting right along the lower part of the frame. 
you notice at this end the, the ladder is pushing it up a bit, but it goes over that lip right there, and that acts as a horizontal support for the coroplast. And we've got a tiny gap in the middle here that lets a little bit of light through, but it's not too bad. And this will reflect most of the light back out into space. We get a little bit of light coming through, just a very little bit of sort of gold flavored light. So I didn't really give you a shot of the kitchen before the skylights were just coroplast. And now this is the light that's coming into the kitchen with the um, mylar on top of the coroplast. You see that the amount of light still coming through is, is nice. It's a very gentle light and it's kind of golden in color. And then we've got a few cracks that let some light in. As the Leonard Cohen song says, it's the cracks that let the light in. Now we do have this window covered and we are experimenting with mylar to stop overheating. In the morning, early morning, I guess it's easterly, east, northeasterly, we get sunlight coming in here. So this has really darkened up the kitchen, but there's still light in here. Well, the blinds are down. That the blinds are down. So we're going to open up the blinds and see what that does to the light in the kitchen. This skylight has just the coroplast in it, and it's still pretty bright. It's uh, quite a bit less light coming in than without the coroplast. It, it lights the room like this, like this, with the mylar in. An idea of contrast, we've opened up the windows, taken the blinds off them, and this is the light in the kitchen with the mylar coated coroplast in the skylights, reflecting the light back out not absorbing the heat, the light gets reflected back to space. And um, it's considerably darker than it was before, but hopefully it will be cooler too.